Hi! So today um, I figured I would hop back on the Best of Series bandwagon that I have going on. Um, so what I have today is a little video just showing you what I like for lips in terms of liners, glosses, matte lipsticks, sheer lipsticks, semi-matte lipsticks. Um, I'm going to start um, and this is in no particular order of, you know, favorite to least favorite. I really like all that I'm going to show. So I'm going to start with Chanel. I have two lip glosses to show and then two lipsticks. So the glosses are these. Um, I got the top one today and then the bottom one that I have, um, I have owned for a couple of months. So this one is number... 169 and this is a limited edition gloss um, they are all out on the counter right now I'll swatch this for you so reason why I like these glosses is because they are um, pigmented they hold up really well when you put them under a lipstick and they also hold up really nicely on their own I know that some glosses they tend to just wear off really quick um, but for me when I'm working throughout the day I like to just have something on my lips I just don't really like wearing just a like neutral color chapstick so on a day where I don't really feel like wearing like a liner and a lipstick I just want something kind of light on my lips then I'll usually reach for a Chanel gloss and the other one that I have this is number 121 and this is more of a nude version so this will go with any kind of lip color I've even put this color over a red lipstick and it kind of um, gave it the gave the lipstick that I was wearing kind of a champagne tone on top so that's that one there on the bottom and then um, these two glosses that I have they're the same formula only difference is that one is very bright and one is rather nude so then the lipsticks that I have to show from Chanel they are two different formulas so this one here this is the Rouge Coco so these lipsticks are a luminous satin finish I think if my memory serves me correctly I will um, look that up and then I will have more detailed descriptions on my blog but basically the reason why I like these is because they're very um, they give a really nice finish on the lips they don't really wear off or they don't um, fade away or like feather up into like the top part of my lip here so the color that I have is number 77 in Jersey Rose and that's it right there so it's a really nice pastel pink and it even will pair nicely with this gloss here that I have on the bottom of my hand so that's this one and then the other one that I have from Chanel it's actually their newest ones they recently came out with um, some new lipsticks they are um, a matte formula so this is in this is the Ro Rouge Allure Velvet in number 34 and then I'll swatch that I think that's really pretty for springtime as well so it's just a very soft muted pink so that's the matte one that I've got and then that's it for Chanel that I have to show and then the next really nice lip product that I like um, this is a Laura Mercier gloss and it's actually my favorite gloss and I hate to do this to you guys but it's actually limited edition um, but this is called Bear Beam and Bear Beam to me it just reminds me of this really pretty like holographic brown nude gloss that can literally either be worn alone with a liner or with any color lipstick that's what it looks like there 
I don't know if you can see that at all, but that's what it looks like in the bottle. But and then um, another different category that I've got. These ones are from Bear Essentials. And the three that I really like from Bear Essentials, these are all different formulas. So the first formula that I have got, this is a pretty amazing lip color. And then these are basically like lipsticks in a tube. So it comes with an applicator like this, so it's really easy to fit the form of your lips. And then this color that I have is called Charisma. And it's a very nice standout baby doll pink. Um, you can even pair this with a very nude lipstick on the bottom and then put this on top. And it actually it makes for a really nice pairing. And then um, I have this gloss from, it's, it's an actual buxom gloss. I know that they were sold in Bare Essentials for a while. I'm not sure if they're still sold there. I did, read, I did read somewhere that the Buxom glosses were going to be pulled from Bare Essentials, but I think that they're only sold in Sephora now. I will double check that, but the one that I have is Katie. And this was the first gloss that I actually bought from BE, so that's probably why I like it so much. And to just describe the color, the color would be just a very um, very very nude pink but, and the other formula that I have is the actual lipsticks from Bare Essentials and then the one that I really like is called Rock Candy that's what it looks like I have heard like from a couple people that the people find these lipsticks rather drying I don't I find them very moisturizing on my lips that's probably why I like it that and the reason why I like this lipstick so much is because I actually bought this on my 21st birthday and my 21st birthday was really fun because I had um, a bunch of people over and people just came and they hung out and we all really just had fun and I had worn this along with another random gloss but so those are the ones that I have from Bare Essentials and then next two are actually drugstore ones and they are um, the first one is an actual lipstick this is the L'Oreal I think these are the infallible lipsticks yes so this is 227 and the reason why I like this so much is because a it's really pretty and B these do not budge once these settle into your lips a little bit, you can literally take a napkin, press your lips, and it won't come off. And then the other one that I have is a recent discovery. Um, these are the Milani Lip Pencils. And if you look these up, pretty much every single YouTube guru out there talks about them. And all that they have to say about them are just really awesome things. So I figured I was just I would just try it out myself. So the one that I have is number four, Photo Flash, and it's a really pretty metallic red color with a very pink undertone. That's what it looks like there. And again, you know, I got this at CVS, and I'm all for finding lip products that I think that are really grand in CVS. So then I've got two more categories. Um, I've got two things from Lancome and then I have a couple things from MAC. So the Lancome, I have a lipstick and a gloss. And then the lipstick that I have is the Color Design Lipstick in Pale Lip. And the Color Design Lipsticks are probably my favorite ones. Reason being is that they're really pigmented, lots of color options, um, very hydrating, creamy. They stay on just by themselves. They hold up with the gloss. So just a very nude pink type of color. Then the gloss that I've got, this is the Color Fever Gloss in, in Delirium. I'll swatch a little bit of that. And it comes with an applicator like this, so it's kind of tear shaped, so it's meant to really fit the form of your lip, which is what I like as well. And this one 
kind of reminds me of like a very sheer purpley pink color and it actually it pairs really well with this with this lipstick that I have so on a day that I'm doing like a smoky eye and I don't want a whole lot on my on my lips then I'll probably do something along these lines so that's what I have from Lancome and then the last category is MAC or in this case I will use MAC Prep and Prime which is this so what this basically does is two things it moisturizes your lips so they won't be chapped because when you apply lipstick on chapped lips um, it's rather uncomfortable at least in my opinion so I'll apply this and I'll wait probably about like two or three minutes for it to sink in but what's good about this is, is it holds your lipstick in place and it makes sure that it doesn't feather and what feathering means is that the lipstick will kind of leak into like the little lines that women have on the top of their lip and then so I've got three lipstick formulas that I have that I really like and then the first one that I have this is a cream sheen lipstick called Innocence Beware and this lipstick if my memory serves me correctly I think it came out with the cook shop collection um, I will double check that but the reason why I like it so much is because it's a nude which I really don't have a whole lot of nude lipsticks but it's like a peachy nude this so basically why I like the cream sheen lipsticks from MAC is because they are moisturizing, they long, they are long lasting, and um, they stay on the longest. So that's why I like these. And then the next formula that I have, this is a matte version, and this is called Such Flare. This came out during holiday. I forget the collection, but it, I know that it was out during holiday. And this, in my opinion, is a really beautiful red. Look at that. That is like so, 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 so pretty. Um, I absolutely love wearing reds and I mostly wear them during the winter. So this is a very good matte lipstick. That and these will stay on all day. These do kind of dry out your lips. And then the other formula that I have to talk about is the Pro Longwear, which is another long-lasting lipstick. And this is Positively Dashing. And this is another red, too. So that's what that looks like. And then, last two products that I have to show. Um, this one is a lip pencil. And this actually pairs with the lipstick that I just showed from MAC. And this is called Absolutely It. And this is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. So basically, another lip pencil that just lasts all day, which is, which is also a good thing. That, and it matches with the lip color. So that's what it looks there. And then, the last final thing that I have to show from MAC is a lip gloss and this is called Steppin' Out and this is a dab of glass so basically that means that there's just a lot of sparkle to it um, reason why I like this is because it actually looks really pretty when um, I put it over the red that I just showed that and it's non-sticky too which is why I really like it um, some MAC lip products I find tend to be a little sticky and I know that reason why that they're sticky is so they can stay on but for me that just kind of like bothers me a little bit I like a more so creamier lip gloss so that's the lip gloss on top of the red and I think that looks really gorgeous I actually wore this to a holiday party and I had paired it with a green dress and everybody really liked it and then the lip gloss just by itself looks like this So, um, in conclusion, that is all I have to show that I think that are the best lip products out there. Um, I am obviously open to trying new things and trying new products, and will there be an update on this video? Probably, yeah. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave it below. Check out my blog for 
more detailed reviews and close-up pictures and I hope that you guys are having a great Tuesday and I will talk to you later. Bye!